A truffle is the fruiting body of a subterranean ascomycete fungus, predominantly one of the many species of the genus Tuber. Truffles are ectomycorrhizal fungi and are therefore usually found in close association with tree roots. Spore dispersal is accomplished through fungivores, animals that eat fungi. Some of the truffle species are highly prized as food. French gourmet Jean Anthelm Brillat Savarin called truffles the diamond of the kitchen. Edible truffles are held in high esteem in French, Italian, Ottoman, Middle Eastern, and Spanish cuisine, as well as in international haute cuisine. History Antiquity the first mention of truffles appears in the inscriptions of the Neo-Sumerians regarding their Amorite enemies' eating habits, 3rd dynasty of Ur, 20th century BCE, and later in writings of Theophrastus in the 4th century BCE. In classical times, their origins were a mystery that challenged many. Plutarch and others thought them to be the result of lightning, warmth, and water in the soil, while Juvenal thought thunder and rain to be instrumental in their origin. Cicero deemed them children of the earth, while Dioscorides thought they were tuberous roots. Rome and Thracia in the classical period produced three kinds of truffles, the tuber melanosporum, the tuber magnificanus and the tuber magnetum. The Romans, however, did not use these and instead used a variety of fungus called terfez, also sometimes called a dessert truffle. Terfez used in Rome came from Lesbos, Carthage, and especially Libya, where the coastal climate was less dry in ancient times. Their substance is pale, tinged with rose. Unlike truffles, turfez have little inherent flavor. The Romans used the turfez as a carrier of flavor, because the turfez tend to absorb surrounding flavors. Indeed, ancient Roman cuisine used many spices and flavorings, and turfez were perfect in that context. Middle Ages Truffles were rarely used during the Middle Ages. Truffle hunting is mentioned by Bartolomeo Platina, the papal historian, in 1481, when he recorded that the sows of Nazza were without equal in hunting truffles, but they should be muzzled to prevent them from eating the prize. Renaissance and modern times During the Renaissance, truffles regained popularity in Europe and were honored at the court of King Francis I of France. However, it was not until the 17th century that Western, and in particular French cuisine abandoned heavy oriental spices, and rediscovered the natural flavor of foodstuffs. Truffles were very popular in Parisian markets in the 1780s. They were imported seasonally from truffle grounds, where peasants had long enjoyed their secret. Brillat Savarin 1825, noted characteristically that they were so expensive they appeared only at the dinner tables of great nobles and kept women. A great delicacy was a truffled turkey. Cultivation Truffles' long eluded techniques of domestication, as Jean Anthelm Brillat Savarin noted, The most learned men have sought to ascertain the secret, and fancied they discovered the seed. Their promises, however, were vain, and no planting was ever followed by a harvest. This perhaps is all right, for as one of the great values of truffles is their dearness, perhaps they would be less highly esteemed if they were cheaper. However, truffles can be cultivated. As early as 1808, there were successful attempts to cultivate truffles, known in French as trufficulture. People had long observed that truffles were growing among the roots of certain trees, and in 1808, Joseph Talon, from Apt, Department of Vaucluse, in southern France, had the idea of transplanting some seedlings that he had collected at the foot of oak trees known to host truffles in their root system. For discovering how to cultivate truffles, some sources now give priority to Pierre II Malin (1744–1831) of Loudon, in western France, who began to cultivate truffles around 1790. Mala and saw an obvious symbiosis between the oak tree, the rocky soil and the truffle, and attempted to reproduce such an environment by taking acorns from trees known to have produced truffles, and sowing them in chalky soil. His experiment was successful, with truffles being found in the soil around the newly grown oak trees years later. In 1847, Auguste Rousseau of Carpentras in Vaucluse planted 7 hectares 17 acres of oak trees again from acorns found on the soil around truffle-producing oak trees, and he subsequently obtained large harvests of truffles. He received a prize at the 1855 World's Fair in Paris. 
These successful attempts were met with enthusiasm in southern France, which possessed the sweet limestone soils and dry, hot weather that truffles need to grow. In the late 19th century, an epidemic of phylloxera destroyed many of the vineyards in southern France. Another epidemic killed most of the silkworms there, too, making the fields of mulberry trees useless. Thus, large tracts of land were set free for the cultivation of truffles. Thousands of truffle-producing trees were planted, and production reached peaks of hundreds of tons at the end of the 19th century. In 1890, there were 75,000 hectares acres of truffle-producing trees. In the 20th century, however, with the growing industrialization of France and the subsequent rural exodus, many of these truffle fields, champs truffiers or truffieres, returned to wilderness. The First World War also dealt a serious blow to the French countryside, killing 20% or more of the male working force. As a consequence, newly acquired techniques of trufficulture were lost. Also, between the two world wars, the truffle groves planted in the 19th century stopped being productive. The average life cycle of a truffle producing tree is 30 years. Consequently, after 1945, the production of truffles plummeted, and the prices have risen dramatically. In 1900, truffles were used by most people, and on many occasions. Today, they are a rare delicacy reserved for the rich, or used on very special occasions. In the last 30 years, new attempts for mass production of truffles have been started. 80% of the truffles now produced in France come from specially planted truffle groves. Nonetheless, production has yet to recover its 1900s peaks. Local farmers are sometimes opposed to a return of mass production, which would possibly decrease the price of truffles, though it is commonly stated that demand is 10 times higher than supply. In exchange there are heavy investments in cultivated plantations underway in many parts of the world. Thanks to controlled irrigation, regular and resilient production is indeed possible. There are now truffle growing areas in the United Kingdom, United States, Spain, Italy, Sweden, New Zealand, Australia, Chile and South Africa. A critical phase of the cultivation is the quality control of the mycorrhizal plants. It takes between 7 and 10 years for the truffles to develop their mycorrhizal network, and only after that the host plants come into production. Both a complete soil analysis to avoid contamination by other dominant fungus and a very strict control of the formation of mycorrhizae are necessary to ensure the success of a plantation. Total investment per hectare for an irrigated and barrier-sealed plantation against wild boars can cost up to 10,000 euros. Considering the level of initial investment and the maturity delay, farmers who have not taken care of both soil conditions and seedling conditions are at high risk of failure. In New Zealand and Australia The first black truffles tuber melanosporum, to be produced in the southern hemisphere were harvested in Gisborne, New Zealand, in 1993. In 1999, the first Australian truffles were harvested in Tasmania, the result of eight years of work. Trees were inoculated with the truffle fungus in the hope of creating a local truffle industry. Their success and the value of the resulting truffles has encouraged a small industry to develop. A Western Australian venture, the Truffle and Wine Company, had its first harvest in 2004, and in 2005 they unearthed a 1 kg 2.2 pounds truffle. In 2008, an estimated 600 kg 1,300 pounds of truffles were removed from the rich ground of Manjimup. Each year, the company has expanded its production, moving into the colder regions of Victoria and New South Wales. In June 2010, Tasmanian growers harvested Australia's largest truffle from their property at Myrtle Bank, near Launceston. It weighed in at 1.084 kg and was valued at about $1,500 per kilogram New Zealand. S. first Burgundy truffle was found in July 2012 at a Wipera truffle farm. It weighed 330 grams and was found by the farm owner's beagle. In the United States While there have been some notable successes in truffle farming in the United States in the recent past, and farmers have planted trees that may produce large harvests in the near future, all current harvests are small scale. Tom Michaels, owner of Tennessee Truffle, began producing Paragord truffles commercially in 2007. 
At its peak in the 2008-2009 season, his farm produced about 200 pounds of truffles, but eastern filbert blight almost entirely wiped out his hazel trees by 2013 and production dropped tenfold, essentially driving him out of business. Eastern filbert blight similarly destroyed the orchards of other once promising commercial farmers such as Tom Leonard, also in East Tennessee, and Garland Truffles in North Carolina. Newer farmers such as New World Trufieres clients Pat Long in Oregon and Paul Beckman in Idaho, or Nancy Rospero of Mycorrhiza Biotech in Gibsonville, NC, are still in the early stages and waiting for their harvests to increase in size. Etymology The origin of the word truffle appears to be the Latin term tuber, meaning swelling or lump which became tougher and gave rise to the various European terms, Croatian tartuff, tartuff, Danish truffle, Dutch truffle, English truffle, French truff, German truffle, Greek trufa, trufa, Italian tartufo, Polish truffla, Romanian trufa, Spanish trufa, and Swedish trifle. The German word kartoffel, potato, is derived from the Italian term for truffle because of superficial similarities. In Portuguese, the words trufa and tubera are synonyms, the latter closer to the Latin term. Biology The mycelia of truffles form symbiotic, mycorrhizal relationships with the roots of several tree species including beech, birch, hazel, hornbeam, oak, pine, and poplar. They prefer argillaceous or calcareous soils that are well-drained and neutral or alkaline. Truffles fruit throughout the year, depending on the species, and can be found buried between the leaf litter and the soil. Phylogeny The phylogeny and biogeography of truffles was investigated in 2008 using internal transcribed spacers ITS, of nuclear DNA with five major clades estivum, excavatum, rufum, melanosporum and puberulum. This was later improved and expanded in 2010 to nine major clades using large subunits LSU, of mitochondrial DNA. The magnetum and macrosporum clades were distinguished as distinct from the estivum clade. The gibosum clade was resolved as distinct from all other clades, and the spinoreticulatum clade was separated from the rufum clade. Species Black truffle The black truffle or black perigord truffle, tuber melanosporum, the second most commercially valuable species, is named after the perigord region in France and grows with oak and hazelnut trees. Black truffles are harvested in late autumn and winter. The genome sequence of the black truffle was published in March 2010. Summer or Burgundy truffle The black summer truffle tuber estivum, is found across Europe and is prized for its culinary value. Burgundy truffles designated tuber uncinatum, but the same species, are harvested in autumn until December and have aromatic flesh of a darker color. White truffle Tuber magnetum, the high-value white truffle or trifola d'alba madonna, truffle of the white madonna, in Italian, is found mainly in the Longhe and Montferrat areas of the Piedmont region in northern Italy and, most famously, in the countryside around the cities of Alba and Asti. Whitish truffle The whitish truffle Tuber borci is a similar species found in Tuscany, Abruzzo, Romagna, Umbria, the Marche and Molise. It is not as aromatic as those from Piedmont, although those from Città di Castello come quite close. Other species A less common truffle is garlic truffle, tuber macrosporum. In the U.S. Pacific Northwest, several species of truffle are harvested both recreationally and commercially, most notably, the Lucangium carthusianum, Oregon black truffle, tuber gibosum, Oregon spring white truffle, and tuber oregonense, the Oregon winter white truffle. Calapuya brunia, the Oregon brown truffle, has also been commercially harvested and is of culinary note. The pecan truffle tuber lioni, sin, texense is found in the southern United States, usually associated with pecan trees. Chefs who have experimented with them agree. They are very good and have potential as a food commodity. 
although pecan farmers use to find them along with pecans and discard them, considering them a nuisance, they sell for about $160 a pound and have been used in some gourmet restaurants. Truffle-like species The term, truffle, has been applied to several other genera of similar underground fungi. The genera Terfizia and Termania of the family Terfiziaceae are known as the desert truffles of Africa and the Middle East. Hearts truffle is a name for Elephomycetaceae. Pisolithus tinctorius, which was historically eaten in parts of Germany, is sometimes called Bohemian truffle. Extraction both the female pig's natural truffle seeking, as well as her usual intent to eat the truffle, are due to a compound within the truffle similar to androstenol, the sex pheromone of boar saliva, to which the sow is keenly attracted. In Italy, the use of the pig to hunt truffles has been prohibited since 1985 because of damage caused by animals to truffles mycelia during the digging that dropped the production rate of the area for some years. Volatile constituents the volatile constituents responsible for the natural aroma of truffles are released by the mycelia, fruiting body or derive from truffle-associated microbes. The chemical ecology of truffle volatiles is complex, interacting with plants, insects and mammals, which contribute to spore dispersal. Depending on the truffle species, life cycle or location, these are most notably Sulfur volatiles, which occur in all truffle species, such as dimethyl mono, DMSD, DMDS, and tri, DMTS sulfides, as well as 2-methyl 4,5-dihydrothiophene, characteristic of the white truffle T. borchi and bis, methyltheo, methane occurring in all species but mostly characteristic of the white truffle T. magnetum. Some of the very aromatic white truffles are notably pungent, even irritating the eye when cut or sliced. Metabolites of non-sulfur amino acid constituents simple and branched chain hydrocarbons such as ethylene produced by mycelia of white truffles affecting root architecture of host tree, as well as 2-methylbutanol, 2-methylpropanol and 2-phenylethanol, also common in baker's yeast. Fatty acid-derived volatiles, C8 alcohols and aldehydes with a characteristic fungal odor, such as 1-OCTEN-3-OL and 2-octanol. The former is derived from linoleic acid, and produced by mature white truffle T. borchi. A number of truffle species and varieties are differentiated based on their relative contents or absence of sulfides, ethers or alcohols, respectively. The sweaty musky aroma of truffles is similar to that of the pheromone androstenol that also occurs in humans. As of 2010, the volatile profiles of seven black and six white truffle species have been studied. Culinary use Because of their high price and their pungent aroma, truffles are used sparingly. Supplies can be found commercially as unadulterated fresh produce or preserved, typically in a light brine. White truffles are generally served raw and shaved over steaming buttered pasta, salads, or fried eggs. White or black paper thin truffle slices may be inserted into meats, under the skins of roasted fowl, in foie gras preparations, in pâtés, or in stuffings. Some specialty cheeses contain truffles as well. The flavor of black truffles is far less pungent and more refined than that of white truffles. Their strong flavor is often described as syrupy sweet. Black truffles also are used for producing truffle salt and truffle honey. While in the past chefs used to peel truffles, in modern times, most restaurants brush the truffle carefully and shave it or dice it with the skin on so as to make the most of this valuable ingredient. A few restaurants in Switzerland still stamp out circular discs of truffle flesh and use the skins for sauces. Truffle oil Truffle oil is used as a lower cost and convenient substitute for truffles, to provide flavoring, or to enhance the flavor and aroma of truffles in cooking. Most truffle oil, however, does not contain any truffles. The vast majority is olive oil which has been artificially flavored using a synthetic agent such as 2,4-dithiopentane. Truffle vodka The bulk of truffle oil on the market is made with a synthetic ingredient, as are many other truffle products. 
However, alcohol can be used to carry the truffle flavor without the need for synthetic flavorings. The first truffle vodka, Black Moth Vodka, is a natural vodka infused with black Paragord truffles, tuber melanosporum. Although primarily used as a spirit in its own right and mixed in a range of cocktails, truffle vodka is also used by various chefs to flavor dishes by evaporating the alcohol through cooking whilst retaining the truffle aroma. See also list of tuber species specialty foods references bibliography Marcillo, M. and Sanchez, M. and Villanova, X. 2015. Truffle Farming Today, A Comprehensive World Guide. ISBN 978-84-617-1307-3, CS1 maint, Uses Authors Parameter, Link, Trap, Matt, Evans, Frank, Trap, James M. 2007. Field Guide to North American Truffles, Hunting, Identifying, and Enjoying the World's Most Prized Fungi. Natural History Series. 10 Speed Press. ISBN 9781580088626. Novak, Zachary. Truffle, A Global History. The Edible Series. Reachin. ISBN 978-1780234366. External links Website of the North American Truffling Society Website of the Australian Truffle Growers